Hey guys, it's Ed again. Um, I'm going to start tearing this old outboard apart and uh, we'll see how that goes. So follow along and uh, hope you enjoy. So first step, get the darn cover off it. How does that happen? Well, that doesn't seem to work. Now remember, I put this on. <laughs> what did I do? Oh, hey, we got that apart. Let's see if I can pull it over. Nope. It did pull over. Trust me. It did once upon a time. So, um, let's see here. Uh, how do you get this apart? This is loose down here. Oh, there's a little lever. Hey, right here, what's this do? Well, that might do the trick. And there we go. Where can we put this? Hmm. Put it over there. Okay, guys. Um, I think we've got down into it. Now, I put this recoil on here, and it did pull over in the fall so why it is <clears throat> not pulling over right now is a good question but I noticed my bolts aren't completely in oh I see what may be the problem is there's a weird little stopper yeah I'm not really sure what that's for but there's a uh, here I'll spin the motor and I'll see you guys right up here on the top right here if you guys can see that, there is a, uh, check that out, and bring it right to you, that little thing. Not sure how that works, it's disconnected, maybe it hooks to the carburetor, but if that's not pulled out, you can't pull the motor over. Uh, the spark plugs are out of it, you guys can see, plugs are out, so... Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure. Uh, the other thing that's kind of screwed up here is the, uh, the sediment bowl was broke because this cover was off when I dragged the motor home. This part was off. Um, they had taken this whole back shroud piece off and um, that had basically um, allowed this to get smashed. And I had it, but uh, I think it I think it got smashed after I brought it back. I think it, I think it survived the trip on the truck, but getting it off the truck, because if any of you guys ever worked on these things, you'll know they are freaking heavy. Um, this motor probably weighs got to be 85, 90 pounds, I would think. So um, anyway, and this one here's got a, a, a broken plug in it. So you can get rid of that. Let's uh let's stick some spark plugs in it and see what happens. I have a feeling nothing. And uh, I don't think I've tested this. So I'm pretty sure I happen to have a couple old spark plugs laying here. Actually, that plug looks pretty darn new. Oh, that needs a cap on that one. So does that one. Interesting. Because the plug I just took out of there <coughs> didn't have one. So I just threw one in here in a bucket. So these are just all Honda plugs. I'm pretty sure they don't fit. Now, well, if you call that fitting. <laughs> so. I would, I would poop myself. You ain't got another cap to a spark plug, do you? Because I could use one. Um, maybe we're going to have to test one at a time. Because I can't find another thing to put on here. You'd think I'd have a spark plug laying around down here. At least the end of one. But I don't. So, I've got to pull this way. So I'm going to let you guys 
look at, you know what I'll do? I got a cool tool. Where is it? Here it is. What do you think about this thing of a duty? Try that. Maybe then I can actually see it from the back of the motor. Think about that plan. Um, I think I would still need to ground it. I would think. That is loose as can be. I don't like that at all. Um, how about that? Well, it's kind of grounded to rubber. Does that work? There's like a little rubbery, nipply thing here. I just don't like the way it connects. But maybe. Okay. Um, kill switch. Any idea? None? Good, good. There's a wire over here. It's coming down. Let's see here. I would say this has got a, a fuel line on it, or is that a wire? That looks like a fuel line. I'd almost say that's a uh, like a fuel pump, but it's only got one wire, one wire and one thing on it here. Not ground going over here. Here's a wire coming out of here. That would be good because that's where the juice would come from, right? can't be a coil. The coils are under here and they go into the plugs. There's a black wire here disconnected. There's another wire laying over here disconnected. So, I don't know. Not sure. That white wire right there makes you wonder though because it's kind of going up in here and getting into something. So, I don't know, we'll keep trying here, but maybe it's a terrible connection. But maybe it'll spark right over and look like the 4th of July. Um, maybe you guys can see it, because I can't. Well, I'm not seeing anything on the end of that plug. I don't know if you guys saw anything. But I have a feeling that plug was not grounded very well. I wonder if I can squeeze this. This is a Harbor Freight jobby, so it's probably the highest of quality. I would assume. And yeah, we just need to give that a little, little squeezy squeeze. Tighten that up a little bit. That's better. Man, I wish I had a good place to stick it where you could see it. Okay. Well, that's in the dark, that's for sure. Whoa! I almost thought I heard spark. Man, I must be losing my mind because I thought I heard it. This is hard to yank and do that. You want to try something crazy? We do have an electric start on it. Think it'll work? I got a battery box, jumper box right there. What do you think? Make life faster. Worst we'll do is break it. Right? Right? Okay. See if we got any juice in here. Maybe not. Huh. Ooh. I guess I fixed the switch in this. Um, okay, ground, I would assume that's the hot, I assume this is going to be the ground today. Whoa, she don't turn so good. Oh, I 
think we can get a bar on that maybe and move it. What do you think about that idea? Maybe if we wrap it with a hammer, hit it with something, that might work. Got a hammer. Bring it closer. Find a beater. Try this bolt. Old yucky old bolt. Should maybe tap the starter free. Wow. She's a rusty one. turning backwards, sort of. I put some PB blaster in it or something, but let's see what this does. Starter works! After beating on it with a hammer. But I still didn't see no spark. Nothing. But that's good to know. We got a starter. That's a lot better than hand cranking. So, uh, what other switches do we have, guys? You guys are the boat mechanics here. Help me out. What's this thing do? Choke on, automatic, choke off. I don't think that's going to help. But I think this adjusts your jetting as you're going down the, the, the water. I was going to say the road. You take a boat down the road, can't you? Um... So, I mean, there's probably something stupid that's just keeping it from not having spark, you know. I do have a book. Maybe I should go find the book. So, let me do a little research, and I'll be back. Okay guys, I have searched all over for my service manual. I know I bought one, but I can't find it. So we're going to just go for it and uh, see how we do. So get this thing out of the way. We'll pull this recoil off and then we'll um, probably try to get the flywheel off it. That should be challenging. Somewhere. And put bolts in. The heck size was that? I thought it said it was 7 sixteenths. It must be a bigger one. This one will fit. Of course, when I'm looking for a standard, all I can find is a metric. Isn't that the way it goes? Get this thing out of the way. Figure out how to get this flywheel off. See, that bolt was a little too long, but it worked, held it together. Okay, recoil's off. Now, pull that dog off here, starter dog. 
Get that out of the way. And then uh, we'll have to see what we got for a big socket. Because it's a pretty good size one. And then we'll have to see. At least I think that's the starter dog. This flywheel has like a, a tooth on it. For some reason, I almost think I remember seeing these with a belt. Belt on here. I'm not sure what the belt did though. But that's almost what that looks like. Is like a like a belt would go on it. So. Here, we're going to play with our new light. What do you think? Is that helping any? Maybe a little? How's that? I might throw some light in there. So, uh, of course it's stuck under the nut. Barely stuck. So let's see, what size is that? You guys looking at it? How about this size right here? What the heck is this? And this is a one inch. Well, it's bigger than one inch. You may have to uh, make a journey someplace out in the garage and find some bigger your sockets. Oh no, there's an inch and a quarter. I'm thinking more like an inch and sixteenth. Oh, it looks even bigger. Inch and three sixteenths. See what we get out of either one of these guys. Way too big. Too big. So I said, I think it's an inch and sixteenth. Got a twenty-seven millimeter. Try that. Look at that. Twenty-seven millimeter. Only thing is, it's half inch drive. Now we got to try to find a half inch drive. Um, that's the problem with having two, two workshops, you know, half your tools are upstairs and, you know, actually more than half, <laughs> a quarter of the tools are downstairs. So I said I hated to buy two sets of tools to have so I can get things apart, but um, I guess I'm going to have to run up and get a half inch drive to get that off. And while I'm up there... I think I'm going to grab my big, big gear puller and because uh, I'm thinking that might be the way to get this apart. There's the rope catch on it. Be right back. You won't even know I'm gone. Okay guys, I'm back. Bet you didn't even miss me. Um, I got my big puller. I think this is the only snap-on tool I own. Uh, I think I got it at a yard sale. See if we can get this little guy to come loose. Need my impact driver, otherwise known as a hammer. Look at that impact driver. People pay extra money to get those special tools. Get this thing off. It's like watching paint dry yet? No. Probably. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure if this plan is going to work. Might, might be too big. Yeah, 
I'd say it's almost needs to be shorter. I wonder if I could put something in between here maybe. or so. Yeah, if I could get her loosened up a little bit more. Maybe we could get it up out of there. Okay. Get that one, get that one, get that one. boys and girls she's a pretty precarious looking with a socket on top of it and a wobbly bolt we'll give her a try might have to come up with a different plan I wish this had a point on it but we'll give it a try off sideways okay we're gonna have to come up with a plan B not sure what that's gonna be Okay, plan B, let's put the nut on it, we'll put the nut on upside down, I don't know why you put the nut on upside down, but that's the old thing, and then we'll put a little pry on this side of it, nothing. Well, it does have a, it is tapped in the center for a puller, right in the center here. It's got three taps. Um, maybe back, uh, back out to the garage and see if I got a different puller that might be able to do that one. I don't know. Sometimes things just fight you, you know, you can never win. Okay guys, uh, upon further inspection, I have found the puller I think that is going to work. Since the big puller is too big, I have found my other puller, this one, which does have the point on it. This is a OTC, so this has been a good one. It's a harmonic balance puller, but it'll work. Hopefully. Get it down here where we can function a little bit. Unless my bolts are too short. Let's see here. Now that looks like that'll be about right. Put a washer on there. This one's a carriage bolt. We'll see how that works. I would much prefer to put a, uh, a regular bolt in there, but 
That's what I got. What are these, like grade two? <laughs> we'll see what happens. Try to get this washer to float up here. And then get these down in as far as I can. I don't know. Loosen them up a little bit. Maybe we can get a couple more threads in there. Try here as we might. I've oblong these holes out so many times over the years to make them fit bigger bolts that it makes it a little more challenging. But come on. Come on. It's fighting me, as usual. Okay. That don't look too bad. Um, yeah, the stock socket's stuck on it, so I just got to find my ratchet. Okay, what I do with it? You know, I spend most of my day doing this, wandering around in circles looking for my tools. Is that a sign of uh, losing your mind or what? Probably. Okay, now I know I brought it down here. Because I used it with this. All right. Because I used it with this. Okay. Get those out of there. Put a little pressure on it. And then. If you can get the socket off, hit it with the hammer. See if you can shock it. I shocked it. There. How often does something actually work like it's supposed to? Never. Well, isn't this colorful? I might have to bring you guys over here and see this rainbow. Ooh, I bet that's not supposed to be like that. I wonder if... I didn't do that when I got in there with that wrench, did I? I didn't get in that deep. I could barely get in here. I think somebody did that. And it wasn't me. I'll show you what happened. Let's get you over here. Check that coil out, guys. You guys see that? See what's happened there? It's got a chunk taken right out of it. And it's purple, which is kind of interesting. So, over here, and this one is blue. And it says 676. I know it's upside down, but I wonder if that's when it was changed in 76. Could be. Um, so, uh, anyway, yeah, we got her apart. I think we're definitely going to need a coil. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to look like that. And I'm pretty sure I didn't do it. Because I didn't even hear, even though that looks pretty fresh. But to be honest with you, there's no, there's no plastic laying in here or anything, you know. There's no plastic in there. My little light gig that I put on my camera doesn't work so good when we're up close uh, if it's back a little ways it works pretty good but how's that now can you guys see it busted right out of there the whole end of it is cracked all the way around um, so I think we're gonna need one of those pretty darn sure um, let's look at the wiring here and see this black wire, that's going to ground, so that can't be the 
hot wire. I guess, well, maybe. Maybe that would short it out to shut it off. Maybe. Got a leaf stuck in there. Throw a light in there, but it's pretty dark. I don't think you guys can see in there. I know I can't. So. But, um, just checking everything else. I'm looking for discoloration in the heads here. Got a leaf in there. But there's really no discoloration in this. And, uh, usually if they got hot, that's what happens to them. So, everything looks pretty good there. So, that looks all right. So, if you stay back about this far, then that light, you can actually see the circle of the light. That works pretty good. I'm freehanding right now, as you guys can tell. So, so yeah, I think we're going to need a coil or two. And uh, we'll look into that. I should get spark maybe on the other cylinder, though. Uh, I wonder if this cracked coil right here, if this coil is uh, the one that I was trying which is this plug wire here. Uh, it'd be this top one. I would say no. If these two are going in, this one's going to this side. See? This one's going to this one. This one goes around. You can feel, feel the wire going around the other side to, the, to this coil. So... <clears throat> That does not go to that coil. So, but doesn't mean anything though. Uh, coils are about fifty bucks a piece, so I had to figure. I figured I'd kind of have to change those. Or not fifty bucks a piece. Fifty bucks a pair. Twenty twenty bucks a piece. Twenty five shipped. Actually, I might have found some cheaper ones. I'll have to look online. Um, so anyway guys, I think I'm going to call this one here um, because I'm just thinking we're going to need a, need a coil and uh, I'm not sure what this thing does either. It looks like it's some kind of switch of some sort. Um, I need to find my book and I don't know where it is, which is quite annoying. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting and subscribing and following along. Uh, this will be the uh, first in this series on this boat motor. So stay tuned. Bye.